My name's Lawrence Gill, I work here in Trinity College in the Department of Civil Engineering and for the last 10 years we've been developing this process um, which uses sunlight to disinfect um, water and, and the idea is to, to be used for villages in developing countries. Um, so it's quite a simple process, the water moves along the pipes by gravity and as it's coming along the pipe sunlight is directed, reflected onto the pipe and the sunlight will kill bacteria, viruses and we have another process where we use solar oxidation to precipitate arsenic. So arsenic is a big problem in some groundwaters, particularly in, say, West Bengal, India, Bangladesh. We have installed a full-scale system in Kenya. Um, for, this is for solar disinfection. Um, and about two years ago, we installed this, um, as you can see on the photo. Um, and it, it worked for about a year. I visited the project site during the summer. And the project had worked successfully for about a year. And the, the people were very happy with the system. But unfortunately, due to the ongoing drought, their water source dried up. Clearly, water-related diseases, as is publicly acknowledged, um, account for the, the majority of premature deaths, particularly for children under the age of five in developing countries. So we, we see this as a sustainable solution to treating water in a, in a sort of semi-centralised fashion at a village scale. Um, and it uses a, a, an ab abundant resource in these countries, which is sunlight, but it doesn't use other more in, um, intensive type resources such as electricity, chemicals, etc. Um, if we had more funding, uh, the first step would be to return to the original project site and develop a new water source, possibly a borehole. Um, following on from this then, we'd want to actually look at the health implications and see whether the system actually um, improves considerably the health um, health indicators for the, the population, particularly in terms of waterborne diseases. Um, the next step then on from there would be to do further pilots in different locations, both for the solar disinfection and for the arsenic removal.